pollination versus cross pollination what is the difference to begin with let's first understand self pollination so self pollination is a process through which the pollination occurs either in the same flower as you can see or the same flower or, or the another flower of the same plant so the plant should always be the same and therefore we call this as a self pollination so either it is the same flower or within the same plant we have a different flower or another flower of the same plant in that way we call this as a self pollination there is no huge amount of pollen grains that are required no pollinating agents are required for self pollination however one of the major issues with self pollination is that new varieties cannot be produced and the resistance for the disease decreases in case of self pollination but again self pollination is a unique way to maintain the purity of race so the race remains very very pure the similar race is uh, basically carried forward what happens in cross pollination in cross pollination the pollination occurs from one plant to another plant and this is a totally different plant so what is the benefit new species would be formed new plant species would be discovered and there would be increase in the disease resistance cross pollination would require huge amount of pollen grains and also a pollinating agent in order to pollinate the uh, pollens from one from one plant to another plant the flowers should be scented in order to bring in uh, the uh, the insects for pollination so cross pollination requires certain things which are usually not seen with self pollination so this is one of the basic explanations that we understand about self pollination and cross pollination coming on to some of the major differences the first major difference as we said is self pollination occurs either within the same flower or another flower of the same plant so either it should be the same flower or another flower of the same plant however cross pollination two different species which can be seen and pollination occurs between two very very different species self pollination does not require any pollinating agent however cross pollination would require pollinating agents and therefore we say in cross pollination usually the flowers are scented so that's one of the major reasons why some flowers that we see are scented the next is for self pollination the anther and the stigma that is the male and the female reproductive part of the plant mature at the same time and therefore self pollination is possible however in cross pollination the time at which the anther and the stigma mature, mature is different and cross pollination is seen in bisexual flowers however uh self pollination is seen in unisexual flowers usually unisexual flowers there can be exceptions where the flower has both the male and the female reproductive parts as different flowers the next is the offsprings in the self pollination the offsprings are identical exactly same as to their parents however in cross pollination the offsprings are a mix of male and female generation in self pollination no new varieties are formed however in cross pollination we see new variety and therefore better resistance to diseases so disease resistance is better in case of cross pollination but this disease resistance decreases in case of self pollination because the varieties are not crossed and self pollination maintains the purity of race which is not so in the case of cross pollination so some of the major differences that we have gone through between self pollination and cross pollination very very important not to confuse that self pollination can occur either within the same flower or within the same plant different flowers of the same plant and in self pollination the amount of pollens are relatively less however in 
cross pollination it requires huge amount of pollens uh, which are generated and therefore higher wastage of pollens in the case of cross pollination so those were some of the bigger differences the major differences between the two we would be covering many more interesting lectures in science stay tuned have a wonderful day